Bill Nelson suffers court setbacks as hand recount continues in Florida Senator Bill Nelson's already improbable path towards victory in the recount has gotten narrower, with the Democrats suffering a series of setbacks in court and in county election offices across the state. The drumbeat of relatively bad news for Democrats in Florida has left any chance Nelson had of overtaking Republican Governor Rick Scott's 12,603 vote lead in a recount as a long shot, at best, with the three-term senator needing to win an overwhelming number of votes in the ongoing manual recount or scoring a series of clear wins in court. Nelson was handed a consequential loss early on Friday morning when Judge Mark Walker ruled that the guidelines Florida law provides to election canvassing boards as to how to determine voter intent in a manual recount are constitutional. The issue in this case is whether the use of these reasonable and neutral rules is constitutional, Walker said. It is. The loss came around the same time Walker denied a request for Scott to recuse himself from election matters. Nelson's lawyers, led by top Democratic attorney Mark Elias, have argued the mere fact that the race went to a manual recount was enough of a win for them, given the number of votes in Democratic-leaning counties that remain left to count. They have kept a particularly close watch on Broward and Palm Beach counties, where election officials have said the number of over votes, when a voter selects too many candidates in one race, and undervotes. When a voter selects no candidates in one race, number in the thousands. The manual recount currently underway is only of those ballots, where election officials use guidelines from the state of Florida and their own judgment to determine whether a voter meant to vote to one candidate or another. In Broward County, the number of over and under votes was over 30,000 ballots. In Palm Beach County, that number was around 6,000 according to Palm Beach County Supervisor of Elections Susan Bucker. Those votes now represent the only chance Nelson has to close the gap, and even then, the likelihood is dim. Broward County elections officials announced on Friday morning that they had completed sorting their over and under votes, and the county's canvassing board was now reviewing the ballots and would announce the decision of those in dispute, meaning the intent of the voter was clearly in question. Bucker, who testified before Walker's court on Thursday, told the judge that her team would finish the machine recount on the Senate race on Friday and then need three to five hours to complete the hand recount. She said that all could happen at some point on Friday. Elias tried to project confidence on a call with reporters on Thursday afternoon. It has never been our view that there was going to be one silver bullet that was going to change the margin in this race, Elias said. Noting that Democrats' strategy has long been that they would need a series of wins in court and with election officials to bring home a win for Nelson. To date, that hasn't happened. Nelson's lawyers did score a narrow win on Thursday when Walker ruled voters whose mismatched signatures disqualified their provisional and mail-in ballots and were belatedly notified of the problem of until Saturday at 5 p.m. to correct those signature problems. But even that victory was muted 